Next video. Five gang members versus one fake gang member. Okay, this will be interesting. I'm in a gang. 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 I am in a gang. I feel like this will be easy to tell. Will, have you ever been high? No, I've never, never smoked or never drank before. Sean, where you grew up at? Queens. Oh, New York. Yeah. Where you from? Of Queens. Like, any neighborhood East, in Queens? Yeah, East Elmhurst, 97th Street. Okay. So one of these guys, oh my God, is that Biggie? So one of these guys is a fake gang member. Okay, how about you, my man? He's Dino. Where at? Guthrie's. Okay. Watching. San Gabriel Valley. I grew up in... Uh... All right, who y'all think? One, two, three, four, five, or six. Who who the fake gang member? Who's the fake gang member? Is it Mar is that Marcus from the other video? I'ma say I'ma say it's this guy. This guy just doesn't look like a gang member. I don't know. Guy in the brown sweater. Actually, yeah, he he looks too overdressed, but I don't know. I don't know, man. We're going West to LA. Uh, from Playboy's gang. Okay, where are you from? Compton. Okay, well hey. Elm Street Power Room. Okay, okay. Well, that's when I asked you, where you from? Were you tell me. Uh, actually, he might be a gang member. Wait, I'm asking where you from. We're here to find out who's from the hood. Where you from? Huh? Again, East 16th, Newkirk. Okay, okay. I'm going to call my people real quick. Yeah. <laughs> How's the jail system over there where you at? You ever been in jail? I was in the feds and in the state. So okay. the federal game is totally different. So I was in MDC Brooklyn. Right. And MCC Manhattan, which is for a federal pretrial. They really got Biggie Smalls up here. I did. Uh, three years in a juvenile and three. Are both of his eyes like that? That's crazy. Both of his eyes, like, go. That's wild. Three years in the feds. All right. You went, man? What the I did uh, three years in a juvenile and three years in the feds. That is n <laughs> That is crazy. All right. You went, man? Nah, not locked up. No time at all? How about you? I've been to YA, uh, Nellis YA. I was at SRCC first. Got out after that, 67 days. Did, uh, what, eight years and some change. They gave me 10, 85%. As an adult? As a, oh, okay. So I took a U.S. Y too, huh? Well, me, no, I, I, I miss Y. I went from camp to after that to prison, San Quentin. What level were you in? Oh, uh, two. So how do they jump you guys in your hood over there where you're at from? How do they court you into the neighborhood? I didn't get involved fully into gang stuff until I went into MDC Brooklyn. I got jumped in. And you went, man? I jumped in. You jumped in? How many guys? About five. What they call them, remember? No. The yeah, guys that jumped them. you in? Oh, it's my homies. But what the homies' names? I remember the homies jump in. The homie Chopper, the homie Sinbad, the homie Trouble. All right. When somebody beats you up, you kind of remember who beats you up. All uh, right, the homie Day, the homie Big Mike, and then. Big Mike? Bro got jumped by Big Mike? Other nigga, I didn't really know him. Okay. How old are you? 36. And you say you never been to jail? Nah, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I wasn't in the life like that, man. I was in to get money. It's me too. I'm all about money, but I still end up getting yeah. caught. So who jumped you in the Playboys? Dang, you, you took me way back. <laughs> I mean, it was sad eyes, lazy, lucky, grumpy, baby tear, and munchy chew. That's right. Well, so far, if I was to think, I'm thinking these two guys somewhere over here. I don't know okay. why. I'm just, I just can't figure out which one it is, man. So. Hey, he looks autistic. We didn't ask him no Right, he just has a lazy yeah. eye. Because you yeah, know I'm a certified player. I don't know oh, that. Man. You could have did some research, dog. Oh, Why don't you start this? Okay, uh, uh, you know what? I, I, I started banging in 1989, North Hollywood, California, 91606. I'm from North Hollywood Boys. They called me Stranger. I ended up going to YA in 91. I got committed for busting on some cops. My Y number's. I think this guy's a gang member. 63298. <laughs> I did about six years. I lived through the whole 90s gang banging, and, uh, yeah. and now I'm here just, you know, share my story and kind of change the, the way I changed my life. That's what it's for. And it's very cool to sit here and try to guess who was that person, you know, so that's what that's what I'm here for. So he's just, his demeanor seemed like, like a cop to me. Like, he has put on that sheriff shirt and like... Low key, he does seem like a cop. Yo, get against the car. How long did you get jumped in for? It wasn't so much the time, because some would say, oh, 13, because out here south, but mine wasn't one of those. Man, I'm glad I didn't have to get jumped in. All my family from my neighborhood, so, you know, I... Oh, so you just... <laughs> yeah. You lost in, huh? Well, you didn't get jumped in? <laughs> I didn't have to. You uh, no, we gotta jump a man. We gotta jump you a got man. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you guys one thing real quick, because you touch on what you were saying. A lot of people always say, especially when you're young, you know what you signed up for. He deaf. I was like, I think he's a cop. He's a cop. There's no way he's a gang member. He's a cop. He's gotta be a cop. Just look at him. He looks like a police. You signed up for the gang. Did you know what you were signing up for? Absolutely not. No, I was told. Yeah, I was told too. I was told Laid out like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you were told, but yeah. sometimes you don't understand. When you're young, like being told but understanding is a different no, I get thing. That, bro. Yeah. I get for that, bro. me, like I was definitely told. Well, minds didn't do that. Exactly. 
They like, oh, you want to be from the set? Oh, here you go, this right here. Go. They did what to your brother? Go do that. They didn't tell me about me growing up in life. I'm going to get shot back in return. I've been shot nine times, different occasions, ran over twice. One was accident. One shot nine times and ran over twice? What? One wasn't. No, that's not. Well, aren't you African? No, I'm not African. I'm African American, brother. What? Yeah, I'm Somalian. That's why my hairline's receding, see? I know life. Hey, I'm Cole. Bro, I got shot nine times. Oh, this oh, is this fest. Cole and I directed this episode of Odd One Out. If you like this episode and you want to see more like this, right, subscribe mind. to our channel. The gang members will now vote for who they think is the mole. You grew up in the streets. You didn't been in jail from a Uh oh, Biggie. Hey, what they think Biggie's uh So when he said no, he never been in jail? Oh no. We're Southsiders, so we're 13 seconds. Hello, it's your boy Will Plays Latar. You're still watching the video, so I assume you're enjoying it. This is a message to follow my kick so you can watch me live and you know enjoy the content 10 times better. And also just be there so you can, you know, see yourself in the YouTube video. Who wouldn't want to do that? And also subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you don't, you get a uh, Eight. And when he said that he didn't have the 13 seconds, it just sounded a little off. Uh-oh, Biggie. I've never been to jail. I have been arrested a bunch of times, but um, never I've never been charged with anything. You have any tattoos? Of course I do. I just can't show you. Man, the feds are watching. <laughs> You scared of the feds? Yeah, oh man, you better be scared of the feds, homie, because they're gonna get you. I wanna know what that tattoo is right there on your hand. He he's a cop. He he ha he laughs like the cop from uh, Breaking Bad. Uh what's his name? Uh not not Hank. Hank is the white guy. Uh what's the do you didn't you live in the hood yeah when I was younger? What, I don't know the, the other guy's the, uh, the other guy's name. The other the other cop, right? He he la he laughs like him show you man the feds are watching <laughs> you scared of the feds yeah, oh man. he's a cop he it's him it's him don't be scared of the feds homie because they're gonna get you i want to know what that tattoo is right there on your hand which one that one right there you know which one i'm talking about the placaso it's a crown does it mean anything it's a crown yeah, there you go so you did fed time yes well what like, you, you know you know those cops have like really like confident demeanor he just seems like a cop can I go to bed? Nah, you can wait it out. The stream won't be that long, you know? Probably like another 45 minutes. Come again? Uh, TF. TF. A little star stream He had full-blown, like, Hanyas and, and, like, Japanese art. I've never seen no Hispanics with dragons and stuff like that, you know what I mean? It just kind of threw me off a little. How many different sets of Playboys is there? What do you mean by sets? Well, clicks or? Yeah, clicks. And what click are you from? The actual, you guys actually have also like a click, click. Because click to me is, is you could be from the hood, but you could be from the locals, the winos, yeah. the, you know, I know a little bit about gangs, so just a little bit. But it might be a cop, who knows? Oh, oh man, I might Yes, he's a cop. He, he's a cop. The police, homeboy, you never know. Real quick, um, what click were you from? Because you didn't, you didn't. He didn't let me finish. Oh, yeah, you didn't answer that. <laughs> no, he didn't let me finish. Mm -hmm. Crystal bunnies. Crystal bunnies? Yeah. <laughs> You heard of that? I never heard of that. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> first tattoo I got was in, uh, when did I get my first tattoo, man? The first tattoo was on my stomach, was my homie did it, my homie Chuko did it, busted out the old uh, piano fing thing on the, on the gun and doesn't look hot whatsoever. I was about 14, 15 years old. So, Gil, what organization are you with? Organization? As far yeah. as what? Like Gang. Oh, I never heard of that way. I heard it. Where yeah, you from, right, homie? Yeah, from right, 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 right. yeah. Very simple, homie. I grew up on Tierra Street. I'm from Tierra Street Locals. You'll still find me on the block drinking a beer with the homies every once in a while, but in a, in a positive way where I'm actually trying to school them and tell them, listen, brother, there ain't no future in this. Like, I want the little homies to look at me and say, I don't want to be like a stranger. He owns his own home. He's married, taking care of his kids, working and showing the kids how to, you know, it's a better Bro, he's a cop. He's a cop. Wait, what do you do for, what do you work right now? Structural concrete. I'm a journeyman plumber, you, union. Okay, that's what's up. I try to tell everybody to join, like, because yeah. I'm in the 50s getting paid. I do illegal activities. <laughs> okay, she just straight up with it. I can't do that no, anymore. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no, no I'm a uh, CNA, a caregiver. So I, I go to prisons and, and speak. I do, like, Christian content creation, too. 
I mentioned I own a bunch of companies. Uh, my main business is Dealer Synergy. Our clients are big car dealerships all over the United States. So I do like Can I take a shower? sales no. training, consulting, business development. I've helped these companies make over $1.5 billion in additional revenue. I'm also a professional speaker in the National Speaker Association. And I wrote a book about Google. So I'd say it's hard to classify. I mean, more than anything else, I'm an entrepreneur. I invest in businesses. How long have you been speaking at prisons and stuff? Uh, I've been doing this since 2016. How did you get clearance for that? Weren't you busted before? Mm -hmm. No, but once you're off and you get your stuff right, you can do that. Cause I got another, I know That's another right. person to do it. Been in prison, but now he- Bro, can I listen to you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, eat please, no. You go to the prison That's and speak. Dope. You can eat tomorrow. I'm telling you, the guy in brown isn't a gang member. You think it's a guy in brown? I think I think it's blue shirt. I don't know, it's either this lady seems like a gang member. She just looks like she just she's a gang member. I think he is. He this guy's backstory was too deep to for him to lie. So I think I don't know, man. That's very cool, man. Yeah. If he really does it. I got a question for you. Um, you live out in LA or, or? No, no, I flew in for the show. I live in South Jersey, uh, in Medford, New Jersey. Oh, because I don't hear an accent or? I'm 46, um, I worked my ass off to get rid of my accident. Yeah, well, good job. Thank you. Like, Who gets rid of their accent? Why you get rid of your accent, Holmes? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's already- The girl is fat at, obviously. She probably does drugs all day, brother. She didn't have time to work out. Uh, Y'all ever think about movies in your head? What? Bad. Omar, what are you yapping about? Bad enough. You what gotta leave people judging you shit like yeah. that. So you gotta turn around and you gotta look the part, feel the part if you're trying to turn around and. How do you say water, bro? Water. 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 Yeah. water. <laughs> um, I had a question. Water. Question about where you were talking about tattoos. Um, you, your first tattoo was made with a, a homemade gun? Yeah, the homemade gun. With what did. It was a guitar string. Oh, I thought you said piano. Like no, no, no. We don't. We can't afford a piano. <laughs> like <but> piano. <laughs> nah, Charlie Holmes busted out the old uh, piano fucking thing. Uh, guitar. Maybe I said piano, but I'm, I'm sticking to guitar right now. I'm still curious why I won't show the tattoos. So will we ever be friends, sir? Sure. He just didn't seem thugged out. He seemed a little polished. No disrespect. I'm not saying he was soft or like that, but he just did not scream like thugga thugga. <laughs> oh, the brown guy. Everyone, everyone vote for a different person. Oh, never mind. They, uh, Sean is getting voted for. What Yeet song should we listen to? Or should I listen to? 293? No, no, 293. I wouldn't listen to 293 right now. I'm just kind of like a chill mood. I would, I would listen to something off Afterlife. I would go type money right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit, a uh, little bit miffed that I got voted off, but it's all good. My story is just kind of crazy, you know what I mean? So it might have sounded like it was a plant, and I knew that coming in, it was either a double-edged sword. This other feds used, used to do to me too. Oh, putting that wire on yeah, you. That's how you do it, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pun intended. Damn. They be joking a little too much, huh? <laughs> Why are you bust? Can't relax. You know? Man, <laughs> keep it 100, man. Raise your hand if you want to keep playing because you think the mole is still in there. A little okay, doubt, man. Let's run it. Damn, you get. Do y'all think the fake gang member is still here? I think he is. I it's it's got to be the two on the left. I, I'm saying. I, think I, be hot. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he is. He's the one. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's bad ball, man. You can't have any like bad ball. Elm Street the ball. Who's some of your homies? Did did anybody do time in Ironwood? I don't know. That my homies is my homies in the, all in prisons. So I can't tell you who in that one. You only spent time in prison once or? Twice. How much, how many years? Two. Two? At what percent did he give you? What you mean at what percent? It was half time. Hmm, okay. But what did you get busted for? You know, be on probation, you get caught with a gun, violation. So. And you're in a level two? Yeah. For a firearm? Yeah, that, cause that's, that ain't, my points weren't high. F finish the sentence for me, all right? The higher the- Mm, he's like, is he, is he the, he might be the fake gang member. Yes, it's fat dude. Dude, that's a girl, brother. Oh, the oh the uh the fat guy at the start. The donor of the floor. Okay. <laughs> the only one right here. What neighborhood do you live in? Uh, Pinewood. I'll Pinewood Ridge. Straight on, it would be her right now. Yeah. These two guys, I'm sure from the hood. 
You could be, you could be, you could be, you could be lying. Me, I know you think I'm not from the hood, but I am from the hood, so it kind of, this thing yeah. really makes it interesting. That's the only reason why I kept playing. Right. That's exactly what Gil said, because um, I'm not willing to take the chance, homie. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? She was and that's no disrespect. That's no disrespect. <laughs> she's the mom. She's just staying quiet over there. She's just staying I'm quiet. I'm just soaking it in. Nobody never been shot. I'm the only person been shot. I've been shot. I've been shot. How many times you get shot? Nine. On different occasions. Five. Man. First time I got shot. It's 50, it's 50 cent. That was five times. That's where Mr. Beast lived back in the day. Yeah, Mr. Beast, that is not, brother, that, that, what are you talking about? That is not his neighborhood. Yeah, Mr. Beast used to live in my neighborhood back in the day. Because I remember, uh, where did, I'm trying to think where did Mr. Beast live. Yeah, he, he lived in like this white house. Yeah, I think so. Like, it was like a white house with like a little window over the garage, something like that. Uh, can I come to your house for dinner? My parents cook on very rare occasions, so uh, nah. Two times right here in the shoulder, one on the side of the face, and one on this side of my buttocks, and it came out Yo. over here when I got shot. Can you imagine getting shot in the butt? AK was another time, two times, this side and this side. Then I got shot by some of your people. Oh yeah. Some Asians. They didn't have oh, and they weren't trying to shoot me though. They were shooting at some <laughs> they were shooting at some other Asians. But my homeboys was security guards at the club in Westminster. We black, we being nosy, peeking out there. Man, they one of them must have pulled out a gun, got the shooting, a bullet came through the door, hit me right in this leg. I fell to the ground, it was so funny. I'm like, oh I'm hit. My homeboy started laughing. Like we called my mama, like, oh, your son got shot. First thing she say, is my car okay? Because oh, okay. I've been shot again. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny though. It's kind of amazing how we can talk about funny. That's uh that's funny to get shot. Ooh, really, really laughing. Some guy getting shot nine times and be like, yeah. you know, nonchalant, but hopefully the future generations don't don't have those kind of conversations as much anymore. Man, I, I try to talk to him and tell him. Yeah, I tell my little homies all the time, man. Like, you guys don't want to live this way. But Gang, they think it's banging. cool, though. Like, right. I tell them, you can live like a dope dealer. You don't got to be a dope dealer. You could be a plumber. You could be, you could call Yeah, we the best. Plumbers the best. Well, you can, you can live like a, you know. Plumbers on top. I'm really looking at his tattoos and thinking, does he have fake tattoos? They, they put some movie star type tattoos on him, and I voted for him that time around. Sorry, Mad Ball. Mm. No, I, oh, the cop. I just didn't trust him. <laughs> and that's no disrespect. There was a tie. Gil and Mad Ball. One minute to just pitch why you think you're not the mole. I actually have a YouTube platform called American Cholo. Why? Because I lived the Cholo life to the fullest. The last 20 years, I've been living the American life to the fullest. That way I push American Cholo. That's the way I speak, the way I speak, and, and maybe not sound like as, as your typical Cholo, but if you guys don't think I'm the Cholo, that's actually a good thing because I'm breaking the stereotype yeah. there. <laughs> well, me, I could probably hear it in my voice. Do I sound like a square person? You know, you look at me, you know, the average. I might scare you on the streets if you don't well, know me. Like, can, I, <laughs> no. can I clean your room? No, my room's, my room's all right. My room's all right. I don't know, I'm just like, no, nah, I could never be a mo. I don't believe in snitches. Can you guys actually escort Madball and Gil to the green room? I'm gonna run there real quick. I'm gonna run there real quick. Catch a blind, bro, catch a blind. <laughs> so why I think it's Madball? I said, how, what, 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 how much percent? And then he goes, what you mean? Yeah. And then I was like, ha and he goes, half time, half time. Like, yeah, right, he says San two. Quentin. San Quentin level two, look, no I was locked up when I caught my, my gun charge too, and I, I didn't, I never went to level two. I always went to level three. What you no, think? No, I agree, I right, agree. For sure. Let's bring him in. Oh. Look at that, man, ball. <sighs> the fake, do y'all think he the thug? He the fake thug? I'm about to cry. <laughs> they took your, your crate away, fool. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I know they're gonna get Gil for sure. He's out of here. I wasn't expecting me. Please raise your hand on three, meaning you want to continue playing. One, two, three. They want to know who the mole is. Okay. If the box turns red, <coughs> that means real gang members have lost and that the mole is still in the box. And they win the cash prize for themselves. If the box turns green, that means you three split the cash prize and you have correctly guessed who the mole is. You ready? Let's see who it is. Yeah. Oh, they got the mole out. Let's go. So he is a gang member. Okay. Uh, I thought he was a cop. Oh. On the count of three, the mole can... Okay. Who y'all think it is? It's either... It's either this guy 
um, big fella or this guy. It can't be in. It can't be uh, these three, cause they already. It, it's one of the. It's one of these three. Biggie, brown shirt. Let's see. Stand up, okay. One, two. It's him. Three. He, he looks like he about to get up. Oh, it's Biggie. Nah, I told you. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Ever been in jail? Uh, sure, sure. I went to jail. A lot of my homeboys did it. I was around it, so if I really wanted to, I could have, but the reason why I didn't gang bang is because my family made sure I didn't gang bang. I just stayed away from it pretty much. That's good. You made the right choice, but man. Yeah. You made the right choice. I was a little nervous about this because I had to sit there and lie to actual gang members. When I see a person, <laughs> these young kids running around like going crazy, I don't really judge them because I was one of those kids, you know? And if I had somebody like me, I feel like back then, I don't think I would have lived even half as miserable as I did. Someone like me, an ex-gang member, ex-convict, ex-piece of shit, has a shot at that American dream. As long as there's breath in our lungs, we have an opportunity to change. There's always a second chance and I Yes. If you're a pedophile, you can change. Why wow, wise words. Six black men versus one secret white guy. What? Alright, well that was that. Weird video. Uh but uh good video, good video.